Oh boy. This is uh, my first hard body from RC four wheel drive. I uh, I did this to me on a couple years ago. It turned out alright, but I never use this thing. It's too fast for a hard body. This is the uh, Toyota Extra Cab mounts from Zoku RC to fit the Zoku RC chassis. No instructions with this one. I uh, I bought this like the day he released it, so maybe he'll add some before then. Inner fender wells, sliders. don't know what that is a mount of some kind probably a bumper mount yeah I don't know what those are two of those and some logger rod ends RPM ones those are pretty nice I'm not sure. I gotta figure all this out. I'll have to message Zoku. Let's see what goes where. Alright, this is where I'm at. I uh, got the body mounted. I just used some uh, set screws from a uh, drive shaft. That way I can slide the body on and off. Probably not the final solution. That's just for working or whatever. I did have to trim up the front here for the frame horns. Let's see, well, focus, focus. I'm using my phone. Uh, like that, that'll get all cleaned up a little bit better. I kind of went a little too wide. Probably did not need to go that wide, but it allows for some wiggle room. Wiggle room. And now. I uh I marked the bed where I need to cut best I could anyhow. I just kind of eyeballed it, put it together, laid it on top of the the frame, and then kind of traced best I could with the marker. And now I'm gonna cut that out. I'm just gonna do. Let's see, this is hard on my phone. I'm just gonna do a couple holes, 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 best I can, and then get to work with a file. Wish me luck. How I cut the uh, holes for the uh, shocks and the frame horns. I just drilled a bunch of holes, like so. Then I'll cut them out with the flush cuts, and then file it down. I did that side already, it turned out okay. I'll go back and finish it all up. Uh, probably the easiest way would be to use a Dremel. I have a Dremel or two. I can't find the dang charger for them though. So I just did that. Turned out alright on this side. Especially once I clean it up. Alright, that was just a little nerve wracking. I got a little bit more cleanup to do. Let's see if it'll focus. I think the Sun being right outside, it's making it hard to focus in here. Anyhow, so I went a little bit bigger on the uh, nut side than I wanted to. The shock side I got pretty good. Now I got to work on the uh, the wheelbase, the uh, body mount kit comes with some longer RPM rod ends to pull this back just a hair. And then uh, once I do that, then we'll uh, trim this up just a little. These are just tires that I got on here. 
I'm gonna start small and then uh, go from there. All right, but it is mounted. Looking good too. I got the uh, where I'm gonna cut the fenders at marked. I just took measured out. Uh, I did seven millimeters on my calipers, and then I kind of did this number here. Just kind of traced around the the fender line. I'm not doing a very good job of illustrating that, but. Just right there, like so. And then I went back and marked it with a uh, Sharpie. Kind of a bummer is this fuel door. It uh, You gotta cut into it no matter what. Like unless you're running like 393 tires, I think. These are uh, 4.19. I think 4.19, 4 4.2, something like that. RC four wheel drive Baja Pros, uh, Baja Pro X. I was not, these are not my first choice, but these are the uh, only small tires I can get in trade. I didn't want to buy small tires because I don't think it's going to be on here long. I think ultimately what I'm going to do is uh, keep these small tires, trim those fenders, and then paint it real nice you know and then as time goes on i'll come back bob the bed and uh it'll look like it's getting some real trail use you know like start shiny paint job then come back and it'll have like a a weld spot here where you bob the bed something like that uh, i gotta figure out the interior too all right let me uh Get to cutting these. I'm just going to use the Dremel and the uh, drum sander bit. We'll see how that turns out. Also, the, uh, the bumper and the grill and everything fit without having to tr without having to trim anything behind it. Uh, so I only have that those first two initial cuts on the front of the uh, radiator support area. I will have to trim the bumper here and I'll probably not use the spoiler down here or splitter, valance, whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's get to trimming. So I got this thing taped up, or the interior taped up best I could to see where I got a cut. And for the most part it looks like just uh, right there at the frame horns where the uh, shock mounts are. Or, yeah, the shock mounts. Everything else we might have to cut into, uh, let's see, where am I? We might have to cut into this uh, floorboard here a little bit. We'll see how much of the floorboard gets to stay. This is kind of a pain taping this all together. I didn't want to screw it all together because hard plastic you start screwing it in and out and start wearing things out but uh taped it best i could put it together and uh it's a start i've reamed out the uh interior best i could to fit over the uh transmission that little transmission cover there but it's still not enough i think uh when people put this on a uh, stock chassis that's more than enough to clear, but uh, I might have to just cut that whole piece off, which kind of sucks because it's where you stick your uh, focus. It's where you stick your gear shifters at. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I might just cut it off and glue it a little bit higher. This is how much I had to hack up of the interior to uh, get it to fit on the Zoku chassis. And uh, I'll take it out here in a second. There's a better pick.
seats still fit uh, everything still fits the only thing is that is a kind of a bummer is I had to cut out where the uh, cup holders go and the uh, where the gear shifts so I think I'm just gonna have to glue it something like that there it is with the seats in I got a little too far on that side but that's okay. I think I will probably make a uh, like transmission tunnel out of uh, styrene or something. This cup holder will be able to uh, I'll glue back in place. Maybe make a tunnel out of styrene. And then everything else should be good to go. I did, if you can see down there, I don't think this interior was supposed to be uh, ran with the servo that's the uh, OD servo the overdrive servo it's hard to that green dot is just paint that I marked on top of it to uh, on top of the bracket damn I can't get this thing to focus uh, green paint I marked on top of the uh, servo bracket to see where I needed to cut and then also let's see if you can see in here where the frame uh, comes through is where the uh, gas pedal will sit. So we'll see what I come up with for that. Um, the only other thing is I don't think the uh, inner fenders that come with this kit will be able to work unless I really, really chop the body or the interior up. And I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I may cut these. I don't know. I may just make something out of styrene. Don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna. I am gonna. Be, I am gonna bob the bed, but uh, not right away. I may do that after. Like I want this truck to look like a a nice truck, and then as use, you know, it gets more and more worn out and beat up so then I'll bob the bed and cut the fenders a little bit more uh, these tires I don't know if I'm gonna stick with or not I'm just trying different ones out to see what I like and see what works I will probably end up running the battery something like that I gotta see how it fits with the hood uh, so we'll see there is enough room under the seat for let's see this is a 1500 so if I got like an 850 it should fit all right I think I'm gonna end that video this is just how to uh, cut the interior and what cuts you need to make on the bed like so to get it to fit on the Zoku all right, let me know what you think. Give me any advice or tips or anything like that down in the comments. And uh, yeah, looking forward to finishing this. Thanks, bye.